Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, my name is Miss Dorcia. I am in love with all things beauty, fashion, and everyday life. But there's a catch. I can be simple and basic or extra and bougie. You see, I love beautiful things. But if I don't have to spend all my coins, then I'm not going to. To my returning kittens, thank you so much. I appreciate your continued support. So if you, like me, love affordable and attainable fashion, you've reached the right channel. Let's get started. Mr. Sia. Mr. Sia. So this is going to be a two-part video. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me in my thought process of how I change up my closet um, from summer to fall on into winter. Number one, we're doing it to make room, okay? We're not gonna be wearing our summer clothes and fall and winter, so that is the whole process of making room and also taking inventory. I'm touching things that you may haven't touched in a very long time. And for me, a very long time is about a year. So this is the time that I also purge. Um, and I like to Marie Kondo my closet. If you guys don't know who Marie Kondo is, look her up. She was such an inspiration to me in learning how to get rid of things, guys, because <laughs> I've been in retail for a very long time. And so I have a lot of clothes. But I held on to those and for what reason I don't know so look her up if you have not heard of her all right guys so I pulled you out a little bit so you can get a snapshot of uh, my closet <laughs> all right so I got some notes too I want to make sure I don't forget anything now this is just my process um, my thoughts on just making sure that my closet works for me that i'm not overthinking when it comes to putting my outfits together that everything is within reach and that everything that i have out i physically wear i don't want to have to fumble through my clothes with things that i'm no longer in love with that just does not work for me anymore so that's one of the reasons why i do my purge when I'm changing from season to season. So here's number one. Take inventory. And this is where Marie Kondo comes in that I physically touch every single piece. I want to take it out. I want to examine it. Is it worth putting away to wear next season? Does it bring me joy when I pick it up? That was something that I felt was like mind blowing when I heard that from Marie Kondo. So that's the first thing that I do in taking inventory. When was the last time I wore it? Has it been over a year? Is it a piece that I consider special occasion? I don't do special occasion anymore, by the way, but Determine from there if it's still relevant. Is it something that you will still want to wear a year from now? <laughs> Has it moved past its time? Is it no longer trendy? Is it no longer fashionable? Is it you anymore? These are all of the questions that, I, that are going through my head when I'm going through each and every piece. From then, I determine how I want to part with it. Now, I know not all of us have a posh store. If it is still in good condition and it is resellable, I'll put it in my posh store. If it isn't worthy to resell, then I think about giving it away. But for me, I love to gift to someone first. I want to hand it to someone. I want to give it to someone that will love it as much as I did. And then once I get past all of that, then I give to Goodwill. Now, might I add, this is going to take you some time. So this is where you got to carve out some time and know that you're going to be doing this for at least a couple hours. <laughs> I know for me, it takes me about three to four hours to do this. Next step is to assess everything that you've taken away. 
What voids do you need to fill? The, from the things that you got rid of, whether it is from your tops, your bottoms, um, whatever the case may be, your shoes. This is this encompasses everything that you're changing from summer right now because we're going from summer to fall um, on into winter. So I, I look at everything, everything. And this is also where this will look different for everyone because, you know, depending on what you do, uh, how you spend your days, what career path you are on, this is going to look different for everyone. I mean, if you are in hospitality and you don't have to wear blazers, you're not looking at that. You know, you would be replacing the things that you wear every single day. Now, the last step is to shop consciously. That is, that was such a game changer for me um, in just making sure that what I'm getting, I'm not just getting. I need my clothes to work for me. Working for me means if I am getting a new piece, I need to be able to wear that with several other items that are already in my closet already. I never buy anything and say, well, I'll get something to go with this later. I need to envision it. I need to see it right away with something I already have in my closet. So that's what I mean by shop consciously. Replace the things that you need first. And if you are a fashionable, trendy girl like I am, and what I mean by that is staying up on the trends that can get us in trouble. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with being trendy. If there is something that is trending, if it's something that is going to work with me, something that I know will add value to my closet, something that I know I will wear a year from now, then of course, you know, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm not saying that I'm just shopping for things that I need. Um, who does that? <laughs> That's what I mean by the trendy thing. So whatever is trending at, at, in, in that particular time, you know, I, I'll definitely, I'll definitely engage in that. I'll definitely get some things that will add some type of uh, fashionable trendiness to my wardrobe. But again, I'm making sure that whatever it is will add value to my wardrobe already. So now I'm going to walk you through my thought process um, from what I did. Now I've already purged my closet. I got rid of no, I didn't get rid of, but I took out the items that were definitely summer, that scream summer. So summer dresses, even the color scheme. Um, I put all of that away already. I've already did my, um, my gifting. I've already given some things away to Goodwill. So behind me is what I have left. So let me first say that I am what's considered a pear-shaped hourglass. So some of the things that I know work for me are things that I'm going to always have. They are my staples. I know that they're going to always work for me and I will always have them in my wardrobe. So right here are my cropped jackets, whether they're cropped blazers, cropped jackets. These are my collection. And the reason why I love these is because they accentuate my waist. They, the silhouette complements me. And this is one of the reasons why you'll always see me wearing some type of crop top, whether it's a top, a blazer, a jacket, you will always see me wearing something like that because I absolutely love them. So when I look at these, um, of course, I have a lot of black. Um, <laughs> now that I am back to working and I have a little freedom. No, I have a lot of freedom, guys, um, in what I can wear. I don't have to stick to the black, even though I love me some black, but I do not have to stick to it. So I've been infusing color in my wardrobe and I am having so much fun. So I've definitely started <laughs> um, um, adding more color, but these are all what is left that I'm that will take that will take me now on into winter. On the bottom down here are my regular blazers. And again, you see a lot of black right here. So I don't need another black blazer. 
But let me share this. If when it comes to, if I do see, if I do get another black blazer, it's because it's a different silhouette from the ones that I already have. So yes, it might be black, but if the shape of it is unlike something that I already have, I may consider it. I started to, again, introduce some color. So I do have some colorful blazers that I started here. Here, I've gotten all of my blouses, my long sleeve, my long sleeve blouses to what I'll definitely wear now on into winter. Here are my dresses, my jackets, my fall. Um, and actually, there there is a couple of summer pieces that I know that I can wear from fall on into winter. And I'll let me show you. This right here is a shirt dress and I love this. This is, it's thin though. So it's, the material is definitely summer weight, but because of that, it can be layered. So I see a turtleneck up under here with a pair of tights and a pair of knee high boots. So this is something that can be worn all season long. So I didn't tuck this one away. Um, that's what I mean by there are some things that can carry you from season to season. But for the most part, I've gotten rid of, I didn't get rid of, but I just, you know, changed over. <laughs> so here I have all of my denim tops. Um, very happy with my collection from short sleeve to long sleeve to the color. Um, I want it light wash. I want it dark. I want it indigo. I'm very, very happy with my denim tops. I have, um, I don't need any more jeans, <laughs> any more jeans. <laughs> and these are all of my newest blazers. And I, when, when I set out to get every color I possibly could, and I'm almost there, almost. There is one that I want to add for fall and winter. I have a milky, milky chocolate blazer, but I want a very rich, dark, like espresso color. I also want a navy blazer. So I got two more to get. But for right now, I'm really happy. I just introduced this red blazer, which I am in love with. If you saw the last video, I got it from Style We. I am in love with that blazer. Moving on to my bottoms, I don't need any more trousers. I don't need any more slacks, especially not black. But I have enough of the right colors that will take me into fall and winter fabric-wise. Um, I brought out my faux leather pants. When it came to my faux leather, I wanted to have some wide leg pants. I wanted to have some straight leg. And I also wanted to have not necessarily like leggings. I really didn't want any faux leather leggings, but I did want some that I forgot the name. There's a name for that. Ah, oh, there's a name for that cut. It's not boot cut. I can't think of it and it's going to kill me. But I brought out my faux leather, so I'm good to go with there. And also my sweaters. Now, um, I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Georgia. So we don't get cold <laughs> until late November, December, if that, sometime. So I really don't, I, I didn't pull out my turtlenecks yet. Um, but I did pull out my mock neck. So I pulled out my knit sweaters. Again, more colorful long sleeve tops. Um, my cardigans. I, I pulled out my um, my fall, fall and winter cardigans. The color, this is a beautiful orange, but it's more of a fall, fall orange. And you know what I'm talking about? Like for instance, this top right here, this is more of a summer orange. Whereas opposed to this is more fall. So I made sure and grabbed um, some cardigans as well. Now, I want to um, say that because we're, uh, I'm going through menopause, okay? 
So we need to layer right now. And I want to make sure that the pieces that I have on that I can take off when that volcano is ready to erupt in me, I need to be able to take off some layers. So one of the things that, one of the tops that I love to have in the fall is something like this. This is a mock neck, sleeveless, knit, <laughs> turtleneck. So this right here is perfect for layering with. If you, I now I love a good turtleneck and I love a good mock neck. So this right here is one of the things that um, I pulled out to have. And also, when it comes to my sweaters, again, um, just thinking back, just talking about my shape and my silhouette and my frame. I am a pear shaped hourglass. Um, I love these type of, sh it's a knit, it's a knit sweater. Yeah. <laughs> but I love these faux wrap, faux wrap shirts, not shirts, sweaters. <laughs> I love the hemline. I love the um, uneven hemline because this is very forgiving for those of us that have um, a fupa or an apron belly whatever you want to call it okay this is very forgiving i love this i love the silhouette i love that you can you can wear um a camisole up under here i absolutely love these so i pulled these out as well and there's one other one other type of shirt that i fell in love with um maybe about a year ago and it is these muscle muscle shirts okay so this is more of this is a cotton one so this is one that um i wear in the summer but since we're going into fall and winter um i switched over to the the sweater like material i got this one from amazon um i just did a video i got this one from style we I absolutely love this silhouette. I love it. I love the full shoulder pad up here. This one I can wear now without um, any shirt up under there. Um, light enough, again, to wear now. If I want to put a blazer over it, it layers beautifully because there's not a lot of bulk in this. So again, I, I absolutely love, love these. Now, when it came to my shoes, I put away my summer shoes. What I kept out were my mules. Mules are trending right now, so I kept all of my mules out. Guys, if, you, if, if you've been following me, you know that I've said to you that I work in retail. I love to be cute, but I also want to be comfortable. So I will always have, I will always have the opposite of each other. And what I mean by that, for any given outfit, I'm going to have a sneaker, okay, that's going to complement it. I'm on my feet. I'm, I work nine hour days. I'm on my feet about seven of those hours. I have to be comfortable. <laughs> so I made sure and kept all of my sneakers out. Again, I added all my mules. And yes, I did bring out my boots and booties, just in, not just in case, but I'm just getting ready, you know. So that's it, guys. That is it. That is my thought process in how I purge my closet, get ready for the fall and winter season, making sure that everything that I have out is something that I will want to put on that I'm still in love with that brings me joy. So the next video is going to be the new things that I have brought in that I needed to feel avoid with some trendy things and i'm happy with the pieces that i got so the next video is going to be what's new in my closet i'll share with you guys some of the new things that i bought in that is for the fall and winter season thank you guys so much i do hope that you enjoyed this video and i do hope that it gives you some insight on how you want to purge your closet if you are ready Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and join my letter. If you've watched more than one video, what are you waiting on? Join the letter. I would love to have you. 
And as always, you can find me on my other social media platforms. If you want to see what I'm doing on a daily basis, I do my get ready with me. I show outfits of the day. Come follow me. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. This is Miss Garcia, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.